Today, we are fishing with only corn stuff. Yeah, corn bait, corn power bait, and corn scent. Only corn, that is it. And we're gonna see how many stock trout that we can catch today with just corn. Well, it's getting late afternoon. The sun's about to set. We got a nice, calm water here. And we're gonna do a little corn challenge today. We got corn gel, we got fire corn, we got corn power bait, we got everything corn to see if we can't catch some trout out of this pond today. And I got even some special pink potski corn. This stuff, ooh, yeah. Don't eat the pink stuff. So first thing we're gonna start with, of course, corn power bait, cause why not? Trout love corn. Of course, that's what they get fed at the hatcheries. It's more in a brown color, but it's all corn based. So corn, corn, corn. We get this out here and then we're gonna do something really cool. We're gonna grab a little jig. We're gonna tip it with some corn, throw it out over the bobber for a little bit potentially and see if we can't get any corn on the jigger A little cast, perfect, straight out. All right, so we got our bobber set up here for this other rod. Now this is a fixed float bobber. This is Mustad by Addicted. So this is fixed onto the line. And then we've got our jig here, and we're gonna tip this jig, actually, with some of this pink shoe corn, shoe peg corn, shoe corn, shoe peg corn, what am I saying? Um, I'm gonna tip this just with a little piece of corn there at the tip, right there, and we're gonna fling this out here, and we're gonna see if we can't catch the trout while we're jigging corn. Oh, I see something's going on with the other rod. Light biters this evening. Can get one this time? Maybe. Uh, wow, okay. I'll get a bite on that jig in a little bit. I'm just gonna have to go straight corn for a while. I was hoping the jig might be able to produce something. I'm not sure what's going on here. Or they're not getting hooked. Something's either hooked still or I need to change something after this next one if I don't get one. Mm, there it goes, again. Oh, sweet line drive shot. Sweet. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. How, how is this happening to me tonight? Oh my goodness, another one lost. Just losing every cotton picking stinking bite. Oh, real. A few moments later. All right, we have one now. Is he there? Oh, there he is. Oh, there he is. And he was there. He was just waiting for it. Oof. A good one. This is a good one. There we go. Kids across the way are getting a couple. I've got one on. Oops, stay out of there. I don't want you in the grass. Nice. Another good sized one again. Nice. Got one on the corn finally. There we go. Come on. Come on, fishing. Oh, hello. Oh, wow. Okay, so you're gonna just bank yourself. There we go. Right in that. <laughs> That's a nice good looking. I want the hook placement, guys, right in the corner. Right there. You guys can see that. There we go. First fish of the day on the corn. Nice little stalker. Beautiful fish. And there we go. Let's let him go back. See you, dude. Thanks for playing. Okay, if it works once, it'll work again. Got a little corn power bait. All right, we're going to put some super sweet corn pro cure sauce on this. Just dab a little bit. I don't need a lot. Just to, just to dab a little. What we're gonna do on this one is we're gonna make a little treat on the inside for the trout. We're gonna put a little piece of shoe peg corn in the middle and then we're going to wrap the power bait around it. That way it's like a little hidden secret treat for them. In fact, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna do it on the outside. We're gonna make it so the pink stands right up the top a little bit so it's posky corn and the power bait corn mixed together. The left rod's doing a little dance move. A little Posky power bait combo might be the trick. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, that was a good fish. This is gonna be a good one. Uh-oh, he just bit the hook. <laughs> and just like that, I lost him. Rats! Dang, that was a good looking fish too. Has this one got a bite on it? Sure seemed like it. Mm. Mm. 
pretty little guy, I think. He's there. He's not pulling back too hard. Maybe he doesn't know he's hooked yet. Oh, now he knows he's hooked. Hee <laughs> hee! Fish on, guys! There we go. Fish number two. Doing a little dance move here. Just getting... Sun's just going down, so they're starting to bite pretty good. Some good sized suckers in here. Oh my. He's doing dance moves everywhere. Come here. There we go. Come here, boy. Come on. Come on, get in this net. There we go. Yeah, that's a good, another good one. Fish number two. Good looking one. A little trout. Come on, bud. Take off. Later. Man, I just love fighting these fish. Chasing trout is so much fun. That had the extra corn pro cure on it. Add that to this one again. Seems like that's what they want. You guys have seen me use this when trolling for trout if you guys have been following the channel for a while. And you just, if you want to get this from pro cure, just add a little dab to the tip of your power bait or your lure or your jig or whatever. Oh, that's the hooks coming out. That's why. Anyway, just add a little bit to it, but it makes a huge difference. A huge difference dart head jig here is going to be better and then what we're going to do is we're just going to put a little piece of corn on it just a little, just a little jig heady poo i'm sure this one's gotten bit while i've been not paying attention so we will just reel it in it's got a trout on it that's cool oh yeah oh going back does it have a fish on oh yeah it's got a big fish that's a decent stalker. Holy cow. My goodness. At least that is, he's got a lot of weeds with him. But that is a big fish. Built differently. Man. Wow, that's a hard fighting fish. Damn. Some good ones out here today. <sighs> Must bite better in the eating time, maybe. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's definitely. Oop. Come here, bud. Oh, he's getting all around. Oh, hello, Heron. Blue Heron's trying to go after the fish. That's probably my best stalker of the year so far. I think that's trout number three with the corn. You guys can see they're right in the perfect spot again. Got him right in the lip. Just wiggle him off. The hook's out. There we go. I actually got my hands wet before then. All right, dude. See ya. Okay. So we're going to do the same thing we did earlier, so we missed that one. We're going to take a little fire corn and we're going to wrap it in some power bait corn. What the heck just happened? The hooks fell out? The hook fell out. What the hell? Okay, well that was a surprise. Corn on corn on the cob combo over here. Oh, that's a little close to that. Well, if they're going to find one, they may find the others. Hmm. There's a bite there. Oh, I lost him. I lost the bait too. I'll try it again. Let's try it again. It's not going with the smoke rod right over here. So I'm going to just reel this one in. It feels like it might have a fish. It might have be a fish. That's a fish. Ooh. There we go. Fish on, guys. There we go. On the deadliest corn combo. Corn on corn. There we go. <laughs> Shoe peg corn and live corn together creates the deadliest corn combo. Might be something new I came up with. A little corn treat for our corn fed friend right there. There we go. Potentially last fish of the day. Nice silvery one. There you go. There he goes. Later, dude. We'll probably make this one of the last casts for the night. Hi, Pop. I don't have anything for you. Sorry. Where's this fish? Oh, there he is. Nice little guy. There we go. One more to wrap up the day. Oh, come on, bud. There he goes, in the net. Probably a good one to end on right there. 
See you, dude. Bye bye. Well, we've got a mess, a mess full of corn, but I think it's time to uh, hit the road and get home. All right, Outdoor Mavericks, well, we made it back to the Crab Shack. We're losing light. It's getting really cold. My hands are just getting really saucy, I guess is the right term. A really good evening bite tonight. You know, that's the great thing about corn bait is you can fish it at all times of the year and all times of the day. An evening bite tonight, the corn bite was on. They like the Procure sauce. They like the corn power bait. They like the little corn nibs. And then my new combo of adding a shoe peg corn with the power bait corn, mmm. Those trout absolutely freaking loved that bait combination. And that might be something I might go to here in the near future of trying to make that little morsel in the middle. So if they suck the power bait off, they have that little kernel of corn that they can bite on and bite that hook and get themselves hooked if they miss it with the power bait. So if you guys enjoyed today's evening stock trout adventure, hit the thumbs up on that video and let me know which baits I should do for my next evening trout fishing adventure. I'll see you guys on the next one. And as always, the outdoors is a gift. Share it with others.